as South Africa's integrated traffic management system, ENATIS, is not only the most advanced vehicle and driver licensing system on the continent, but it's regarded as the international benchmark for systems of its kind. But it's been in a bit of controversy lately, and joining us now on how ENATIS will try to move forward is Tebojo Mputi, the CEO of Tasima, the project company that manages the ENATIS system. Hmm. So, good morning, Tebojo. Good and morning, how are morning, you? Chris. Morning, now, thanks. I see that you're making headlines on the business day here. It says, despite a public outcry, um, that uh, your company has uh, got the contract yet again. Um, why are people so unhappy with uh, the way you're managing the system? Well, Chris, that's a very incorrect statement to say people are unhappy. We're sitting now in 2010. The system was launched in 2001. And when it was launched in 2001, <clears throat> it had those minor problems. In effect, it was available 60% of the time, but it was just launch problems. And that was nine years ago. We are now in 2010. The system is 90, it's almost 99.9% available all the time. It's working. There's vehicle being registered all the time. So that is in the past. We are talking now about enhancement, further developments of the system. And um, ever since uh, Tasima, uh, ever since we've been running it, ever since the launch, it's been running smoothly uh, um, in terms of vehicle registration. So the assumption that people are unhappy is incorrect. That was then in 2001 when the system was launched. Okay, well I renewed my driving license in January and yeah. I had to wait in a long queue. It was a very laborious process. That's what people are complaining about here in the business day. So yeah. that's not that long ago. It's only about six months ago. All right, there's a distinction here. You see, what Tasima does, we provide the platform for vehicle and driver registration. However, we do not do vehicle and driver registration ourselves. We're just a blood database, we provide the IT platform. The people that do vehicle and driver registration are driver license testing centers. And there are challenges there in a sense that the system might be available. You might have eight terminals, for instance, at Marlboro at, at driver license testing station, but at the particular time, they may not have the personnel or the resources to open up all eight terminals, so they might be operating on two terminals or four terminals, but it doesn't mean the system doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it takes less than two seconds to perform a transaction on an e-native system. So, and it's always, always available, 99.9% .9 that I can guarantee you. But therein lies the problem. <coughs> um, I think you're, obviously you're saying you're providing a Rolls Royce <coughs> service and yeah. at the delivery point, we're getting a Mazda 323. Yes. That, that is something that Tasima does not have control of. We just the background, back end system in terms of providing the national database. And it has a lot of benefits. I think perhaps let's try and focus on the benefits of what uh, the e native system is as opposed to actually the rolling out at driver license centers because you may have other problems uh, in terms of power supply to, uh, and, and stuff like that and personnel not being available. You see, what the e native system provides the South African driver public, it's an integrated system. So you, you have a platform that registers vehicles throughout the country. So we've done away with all those provincial divisions where you can have a, a vehicle in the Eastern Cape and you go and sell it into Gauteng and nobody knows about it. So it's one database system, it's one database system for both vehicle, driver and owner and title holders. And there are lots of benefits for all and sundry. There are benefits for the motor industry, there are benefits for the insurance industry, and there are benefits for banks. For instance, banks, banks interface with our system in a sense that when they finance a vehicle, they dial into our system and check if the system is not stolen or not. The South African Police Service use our system for listing vehicles are stolen or not. Statistics SA use a system for, for, for pulling your data in terms of vehicle, new vehicles, after sales vehicles. Uh, SARS uses a system to pull data in terms of vehicle ownership. Uh, insurance companies use a, use a vehicle in terms of if a car has been written off and make sure that they can always check that it's taken off the system. So there are lots of benefits for, for, for having this integrated system. Sasha Narishkina, analyst, you're an analyst as well as a motorist. I'm sure you have a, a story and a, maybe a question. 
Chris, I think you must come with me in queue for World Cup tickets and renew your driver's license because I didn't have any problem whatsoever. <laughs> you know, there I know. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I know there were municipal problems, but in terms of renewing my driver's license, which I did fairly recently, I followed protocol. It took less than ten minutes to do the, mm -hmm. and the only the spend more time driving to the department than. Uh, than actually doing the complete test. Well, in January, I had considerably more, I can <laughs> in, tell you that much. But In fact, there's a better point. It's just in terms of Chris, there's a better point to that. We are busy enhancing the system, so sure. we, you, don't, you didn't have to go into the driver's license system. With the interface that we're introducing, you can renew it online. You can even renew it as a South African post office. We've interfaced. We've given the system to the South African post office. So, but that is just in the beginning. Going forward, you don't have to. You can just go online, do your queries, to renew online, and pay online. And your disk will be posted to you right into your post. So, so looking ahead, five years' time, you say you're improving this. You say yeah. that the, the problems uh, with the customers mm -hmm. uh, slowly moving to the past. Where will we be in five years' time? How efficient will we, will we be able to do it over the cell phone? I mean, how efficient will it be? Well, the, there's, you know, the e native system, as you said, it's a Rolls Royce. There are so many things that you can do about it. But, but just for the immediate future, uh, um, as I said, we want you to be able to do the renewal yourself. You want you to be able to, to do the inquiry yourself online. We want you to be able to update your details just in case you move provinces. You should be able to go into there and update your details and, and all of that. There are so many uh, um, interfaces that have been planned. Arto, uh, you know, the Arto system, we're interfacing that. Even in the future, it might be with the, with the talk of uh, tolls and everything else, there might be talk of interfacing with e natives to identify vehicles on the road. So there's a, there's a plethora of things that we can do. Uh, with the e native system that would benefit both driver, regulator, and, uh, and, and motor industry. Uh, one of the benefits of the motor industry, as a matter of fact, is that with all these recalls of vehicles, they hardly ever know who they've sold the vehicles to. So they just uh, plug into the e native system. We can map the data for them, pull out all the details of the owners of their vehicles, and they can write, write letters to them and recall them. And just finally, very briefly, I'm sure a lot of people out there want to ask this question. The revenue that's created mm. by, from motorists, well, where does it actually end up? It's the Department of Transport's revenue. And uh, I, I don't want to speak for the Department of Transport because we just the service provider within the platform. But um, I believe it's used for, uh, by the Transport Department for all uh, enhancement roads. I'm not so sure. So let me not uh, uh, profess to answer that question. The revenue belongs to the Department of Transport, however they apply it, it's up to the Department of Transport.